taking question number 11 of exercise 9.5 from the chapter differential equations the question is for each of the differential equation find the particular solution satisfying the given condition so we have been given this differential equation and we have to find the particular solution of this differential equation under the given condition so let's see how we are going to solve this question now first of all we have to check that whether this equation is homogeneous or not okay so we have been given this differential equation so first of all we are going to write this differential equation in the form of dy by dx is equal to f of xy okay so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to take this term x minus y dx on this side and cross multiply to obtain dy by dx so you can see that this x minus y is going to become the numerator and x plus y is going to become the denominator and minus sign would be obtained when this term this positive term is going to go on the right hand side okay now because the differential equation is written in the form of dy by dx is equal to minus of x minus y upon x plus y so we can write f of x y is equal to this right hand side and now what we are going to do we are going to calculate the value of f of lambda x lambda y which is quite simple we have to just replace x with lambda x and y with lambda y and on taking lambda common from both numerator and denominator i am going to get this right hand side is equal to lambda upon lambda into minus of x minus y upon x plus y now you can see that this value is equal to f of x y so i can write f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of 0 times f of x y okay so because this differential uh, because this function f of x y is such that f of lambda x lambda y is equal to lambda to the power of 0 times f of x y therefore the given differential e equation is a homogeneous differential equation okay now let us see how we are going to solve this differential equation so we we have solved the differential equation to this extent dy by dx is equal to minus of x minus y upon x plus y now to solve further we have to make a substitution and substitution is y is equal to vx okay differentiating both sides of this equation with respect to x i'm going to get dy by dx is equal to v plus x dv upon dx now in this equation we are going to place dy by dx as equal to v plus x dv upon dx and y is equal to vx so i'm going to obtain v plus x dv upon dx is equal to minus of x minus vx upon x plus vx further i can take x common and cancel in both numerator and denominator so i'm going to get this right hand side as equal to minus of 1 minus v upon 1 plus v and right and uh, left hand side remains as it is further i'm going to take this v on this side so this is going to become minus v in right hand side on taking lcm i'm going to obtain x dv upon dx is equal to minus 1 plus v minus v minus v square upon 1 plus v this v and v cancels out so i get x dv upon dx as equal to minus 1 minus v square upon 1 plus v or i can write this as equal to x into dv upon dx is equal to minus of 1 plus v square upon 1 plus v now i'm going to separate the variables that is taking the term of uh, v on one side and x on one side so this can be done easily by cross multiplication and i'm going to obtain 1 plus v upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus 1 upon x dx now because the variables are separated now i can integrate both sides of the equation so integrating both sides of the equation i get integration of 1 plus v upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus 1 upon minus integration of 1 upon x dx okay further this left hand side can be written as integration of 1 upon 1 plus v square dv plus v upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to minus 
of integration of 1 upon x dx now in uh, here in the step in the right hand in the left hand side what i have done i have divide this numerator this both the terms of numerator that is 1 with 1 upon uh, 1 with 1 plus v square and v with uh, 1 plus v square okay so that is why i obtained these two terms okay now integration of 1 upon 1 plus v square dv is equal to 10 inverse of v and we have solved this integral lots of time in previous questions in the chapter of integration also and this can be written as 1 by 2 log of 1 plus v square anyhow you can also solve separately by performing substitution method so it is quite simple actually and integration of uh, 1 upon x would be equal to log x so i'm going to obtain this value as equal to 10 inverse of v plus 1 by 2 times log of 1 plus v square is equal to minus log x plus c okay further on replacing the value of v with y upon x i'm going to get this as equal to 10 inverse of y upon x plus 1 by 2 times log of 1 plus y upon x uh, whole square is equal to minus log x plus c this is the general solution of the given differential equation now we have to solve this differential equation for the particular solution and the condition which is given to us is y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 so i'm going to place x and y both equal to 1 in this equation so i'm going to obtain this as equal to 10 inverse of 1 upon 1 plus log of 1 plus 1 upon 1 whole square is equal to minus log of 1 plus c okay now log of 1 would be 0 okay this is this will be 10 inverse of 1 or this can be written further as pi by 4 and this will be equal to 1 by 2 log 2 okay so i obtained the value of c as equal to pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 log 2 okay now this value of c when substituted here would give me the uh, particular solution of this differential equation so this is the general solution of the differential equation this is the value of c on placing the value of c i'm going to obtain 10 inverse of y upon x plus 1 by 2 times log of 1 plus y upon x whole square is equal to minus log x plus pi by 4 plus 1 by 2 log 2 okay now in in the next step what i'm going to do i'm uh, this 1 upon 2 is there in two terms so to remove this 1 upon 2 i'm going to multiply the complete equation with 2 so this will be equal to 2 10 inverse of y upon x plus log of x uh, x square plus y square upon x square is equal to minus 2 log x plus pi upon 2 plus log 2 okay this minus 2 log x can be written as minus log x square and this is taken on the right hand side and written as log x square and you can see x square plus y square upon x square plus log x square these two terms can combine and give me log of x square plus y square by applying the formula of log m plus log n is equal to log m into n okay so i obtained this equation like this 2 10 inverse of y upon x this term as it is on combining these two terms i obtained log of x square plus y square is equal to pi by 2 plus log 2 and this is the required solution of the differential equation so in this manner i'm going to solve this differential equation friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you